What is up? It's your boy and you're bringing to you guys a brand new freaking video, man. So look, listen, today, today we got a fun one. Today we got an exciting one. Today we're gonna be revealing my lift kit. So I'll be completely honest with you guys. Right now, life feels like it's moving at like a trillion miles an hour, and I'm trying to get everything done before the next thing needs to be done. But everything's coming at me so so fast. I have a bed cover that's open. It should be closed. But nonetheless, the lift kit is here. Did you guess the right one? I don't know. I don't know. If you guess Bill Stein 5100, you were right. I mean, look at this kit. Now, this is only one side of the kit. So we got the Bill Stein 5100 OME 2888. So it says it should be like a 2.5 to 3 inch lift. What makes it that big of a difference is how heavy the front end of the truck is. So me, I personally don't put anything on the front end. Some people do bumpers, skid plates, so all that stuff tends to add up, obviously compressing the shock more, lowering your lift. Now me, I don't do nothing. Last time I did this, I think it was like a 2.7. 2.75 lift but of course we'll measure all of that and we'll get the actual rating if you go with this same lift kit and you go with the similar build then that's what you'll get but for me me personally i love the thickness on this shock of course you could go with like a fox 2.5 and that's like really thick but for me and what i'm gonna use it for this shock is perfect let's show you guys what it's like compared to a stock one if you guys can see that that is way skinnier. So shout out to the new suspension because it's a little bit thicker all the way around, which I like and I think is enough for me. Next up, we got the Deaver Adelie. Now this is just a single leaf that's going on to the leaf pack to give you around 1.5 inches lift in the rear. So 1.5 inch lift just from this thing. This, this little curve lifts it 1.5 inches, which is pretty insane. One, two, three, and then you got the fourth one right here. You put it in between this one and this one. Some people go with blocks. I know a lot of people suggested me do like a two inch block or a three inch block in the rear. So once we get that bad boy installed, uh, that's what's gonna be giving us a lift. You could keep the stock shocks. Some people do, some people don't. I prefer just to upgrade everything at once. So let me show you what's in here. Bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. Right. Come on baby, come on, don't be shy. Another Bilstein 5100. This is such a sick colorway. I love it. Up against the Voodoo Blue, there's something special about it. I don't know, but it just looks absolutely beautiful. I don't want anything more than Bilstein 5100. It just seems to be the best fit for me. So again, there's the stock shocks. Uh, a little bit skinnier, but not too crazy. It's having the Bilstein name. Bilsteins are amazing. They've been around for so long, and I had them on my last truck. Also, the back of my truck is looking a little funky. Uh, the last video I made was a uh, was my tire video, so I have to get all of this stuff back into the truck. So let's see how this goes. Big mistake, I left this outside of the truck, and it, it froze. I also need to go through this crate. I have no idea what's in it anymore. I'm gonna keep those just until I get the wheels and tires installed. Only reason to do that is because I still have to transport these and with these, it kind of keeps them safer, so yeah. Of course, you gotta have your traction boards. And just like that, there we go. So that's the lift kit that I'm going with. Right now, I wanna give the people who actually guessed the right answer a shout out. First commenter, Matthew Ray. Hang, I think you went with the Bill Stein 5100s. Only reason why is because you didn't want to run a block. Very, very true, I literally stated that back there. So Matthew Ray, you are correct. Comment number two, Ramaron. Hello, Aang, Mrs. Ramaron. Oh, hello. I believe you will go with the Bill Stein option. Please don't hurt your truck again. I will try not to hurt the truck again, but you got it right. Bill Steins, yeah, we got to go with Bill Stein. Comment number three, Scott Taylor. Did you go with the French suspension? Yes. If you don't remember in that video, I made a little bit of a joke. It just sounds a little bit more fancy when you say Bill Stein versus Bill Stein. Bill Stein sounds a little bit more French is what I said in the last video. But yeah, we went Bill Stein. Jesus E. Gomez, comment number four, says, Bill Stein, exclamation point, question mark. Smiley face, upside down smiley face. Either way, no matter what you choose, congrats. Thank you, brother, I really do appreciate that. Okay, that's about it. I swore I saw a lot more comments, so this video has 40 comments. 40 comments out of 40, only four got the right answer. So, shout out to you guys. A lot of people said I was gonna go with the rough, crunchy lift kit. Now, let me tell you guys why. I asked, has anyone used this lift kit? Has anyone 
done you know this rough country lift i got a lot of really good answers a lot of people said yes you know they're using it they've used it no problems i was surprised at how many people actually said yes i was using it and swapped out because the front shocks leaked the upper control arms had some type of issue i'll try to find the comment it concerned me i'm not that savvy okay i am not a mechanic by any stretch of the imagination i've had uh bill stein 5100 before they performed above and beyond what i wanted now sandy on the other hand doesn't really like it every time we're about to hit a speed bump she kind of like clenches up and like uh, i don't know for me less body roll smoother stiffer ride i enjoy it a lot so yeah i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please leave a like leave a comment down below what do you guys think about this so far so far so good i'm trying to schedule an appointment as you're probably watching this nonetheless i hope you guys did enjoy episode four or five of mod monday it seems like you guys are enjoying them some more than others which is really weird the ones i spend the most money on seem to do the worst but the ones i spend the least money on you guys seem to like so i'm kind of confused I don't nonetheless it's been your boy i'm out like an audio see you tomorrow single tomorrow peace